Breaking news. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? There's now an open congressional seat in the great state of Ohio. President-elect Joe Biden has selected Congresswoman Marsha Fudge to lead the Department of Housing and Urban Development, according to two people with knowledge of the decision. The offer to lead the roughly $50 billion housing agency comes after weeks in which Fudge launched a bid to become the first black female uh, agricultural secretary. Interestingly enough, I just retweeted this. Uh, I don't know. Didn't particularly sound like Congresswoman Fudge wanted this position. This is from Dave Dayan in the American Prospect who just tweeted this out. Uh, Fudge lamented just last month in an interview with Politico that black policymakers have traditionally been relegated to just a handful of cabinet positions, including HUD secretary. Quote, as this country becomes more and more diverse, we're going to have to stop looking at only certain agencies as those that people like me fit in. You know, it's always we want to put the black person in labor or HUD. Can't say I disagree, but that's unless Politico is not reporting it right. It sounds like she's agreeing to serve as HUD secretary. But no disrespect to Congresswoman Fudge. I'm going to kind of move on from her because I don't really care. Um, good for her if she's going to be HUD secretary. Um, is there another progressive who's been very instrumental in the progressive movement that happens to live in the great state of Ohio? that currently doesn't have a elected political position in the United Corporations of America? Is there a Congress? Is there a strong progressive woman in the great state of Ohio that currently doesn't have an elected position that was instrumental in Bernie Sanders campaign? Uh, whom, you know, name drop. I just spoke with on the phone a couple days ago. Who, who could it be? Um, is there a strong progressive woman who has been vilified by the neoliberal uh, troll army of Neera Tandon, David Brock, uh, the corporate media? Hmm. Hmm. Is there a woman uh, who has served already at the state level in Ohio? Huh. Who there's already uh, a Twitter handle for uh, people that have pushed to have this person run in 2024? Hmm. Hello, somebody. I'm not going to pretend to have any inside knowledge of what Nina Turner is going to do. I, I did speak with her a couple days ago. I'll keep that between us, uh, what we spoke about. But, you know, to me, uh, this, I believe, let me see what Marsha Fudge is, where her seat is. Marsha Fudge... Uh, the 11th district is comprised of 32 diverse uh, municipalities in Cuyahoga and Summit counties working together in progress, blah, 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 blah. So Akron, I believe Cleveland, I could be wrong about that, but Nina Turner could run for this position. Um, if you want to talk about a squad, if you get Nina Turner into Congress, you might have actual change. If you added Nina Turner with AOC, Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, um, I guess Ayanna Presley, Ro Khanna, Corey Bush, um, Jamal Bowman, maybe a couple others. Uh, that, that is a reckoning. That is, without the racism and bashiness, that is the makings of a progressive Tea Party. Um, I don't know if Nina Turner wants to run for Congress. Uh, there is a Senate race in Ohio in 2022 where she could take on uh, Rob Portman in, in the Senate. She also is from Cleveland. I do believe the mayor of Cleveland is up soon. Uh, Cleveland mayor, Frank Johnson. Uh, let's see when his term is up. Mayor Frank J Jackson already is the longest serving mayor in Cleveland's history, but a prominent voice in the city's African-American community issued a call Tuesday for Jackson to run for a fifth term. Uh, this was this was from 2019. 
Uh, Norman Edwards, founder of the Black Contractors Group, argues in an email sent to 500 people that Jackson is at least one of Cleveland's best mayors, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Jackson is 73, was elected to his first four-year term in 2005. He was re-elected to a fourth term in 2017, so he should be up. Uh, it is widely expected through this term, which runs through 2021. So the election will be next year in Cleveland whether it be running for Congress, whether it be waiting to run for Senate, whether it means running, you know, continuing to do progressive activism outside. Um, you know, who am I to tell Nina Turner what to do? But I think Nina Turner's value is much, much stronger as an elected official um, who, you know, all due respect to Bernie, uh, might be somebody who is a little bit more willing to go for the jugular of her political opponents than Bernie was. Um, I believe, to me, if Nina Turner's mentality is wanting to run for president in 2024, I actually, this might seem counterintuitive to certain people, I think she'd be stronger positioned to run for president as a mayor than a congressperson. I believe running as a mayor if, you know, we're getting ahead of ourselves, she'd have to win. But I believe if she ran for mayor and won, having success stories in the heart of deindustrialized America, which is Cleveland, um, in addition to some other cities in the Rust Belt, um, I think that tells a much more unique uh, story if you decide to run for president than just being another Congress pe congressperson. Um, I, as far as I know, there's hasn't been a congressperson who ran as a congressperson that became president. I know there's been a lot of senators who have ran and became president. I don't know of many Congress people that have run and become president. So, and if you're looking for impact, obviously running a city, you could have a lot of impact um, over being another congressperson. But boy, boy, would it be popcorn worthy if Nina Turner was in Congress as a member of the squad. Hell, she'd give AOC a real run for her money uh, to be the de facto leader of that squad. Or maybe she'd start her own squad. I don't know. But I don't pretend to have any inside knowledge. I don't know what she's going to do. Um, I do believe if she ran in that area, I think she could win. Uh, she's very, very popular in Cleveland. Uh, I believe it borders Akron to that congressional district. So we shall see. We shall see uh, what happens. What do you think? Would you rather see her run for Congress in this district in Ohio? Would you rather see her run for Senate in Ohio in 2022 against Senator Rob Portman? Would you rather see her run for mayor in Cleveland if the incumbent mayor doesn't run again? What do you think? Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. Okay.